Everyone, welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I am so excited. I have an amazing treat and special guest for you today. It is my very dear friend who I'm very grateful for, Deborah Lupien. She is back for a meditation podcast. Welcome, Deborah. Hi, Melinda. Thanks for inviting me. Yes. And since this podcast is all about the meditation and I want to keep me out of it, I'm going to kick it right off to you so people can enjoy it and listen to it as many times as they desire. So ready when you are? I'm closing okay. my eyes. Relaxing. Thank you. So I was reflecting, it was a year ago when we did that meditation where you were held in the arms of creator and it was so beautiful and so special. So I don't know what they have in store for us today, but I'm just going to ask my guides and Metatron to step in and share something special with us because we are in these very chaotic and challenging times. And I know a lot of people are feeling the drag and could really use a, a boost. So come on team, what have you got for us? So I'm just going to take a moment to connect with them. And then when they're ready, I'll start speaking. So Take a couple of deep breaths, settle back in your chair, get all comfy, and let's see what they have to share today. Oh, I am seeing this beautiful sparkling water. It looks like crystals. The light is hitting the top of it and it's glancing off of it. It's so peaceful. You can hear the sound of the waves hitting the shore so gently, like a caress. Just Beautiful, the sun is shining on your face, warming you from the outside in, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. You're feeling that divine love, warming, energizing, refilling your energy stores so that you will be grounded, balanced, filled with peace, ready to step into the holiday season, and the new glorious year to come. Because dear ones know that the promise is it is going to start getting better next year. And it's already better because you have stepped forward on your spiritual journey. Your soul is awakening to the purpose that you came. And if you feel that excitement, lean into it. And know that the most important thing for you each and every day is to lean into love, to peace, and harmony. Try to sidestep the conflicts. Don't involve yourselves in them any more than is absolutely necessary. Stay on your path, looking up to the light, allowing yourself to be filled to overflowing with beautiful divine love and light. You are this gorgeous chalice with your arms uplifted. That golden white light flows down to you and just fills you up. And this time when it fills you up, it looks like tiny diamonds. And your whole being is filled up with these tiny diamonds. A metaphor for how precious you are. Think about what that means. You are a diamond already, perfect, polished, just as you are. All you need to do is accept that and flow with that feeling. You are loved far beyond what you can even imagine. And you are filled with that healing, loving light and energy. All that you could ever want or ever need is available to you when you let go of the stress, the strain, and the worry. Instead, leaning into that love, letting your inner guide team support you and nudge you in the right direction whenever that is needed. Know that they will always be there to do that, leading you forward on your path, delighting when you make the next discovery of the juicy breadcrumbs that they have scattered for you. And when you take action, 
They're cheering your, you on, your own personal cheering squad. Because their only purpose in being is to help you on your awakening journey. Imagine that. All of that power and energy at your fingertips. What might you do with that? When you relax and flow into that knowing, fall back into the warm, inviting arms of your team. They will carry you. They will get you through any of the challenges. And know on the other side, you're going to hit firm ground again, and you're going to race forward with joy and delight at all the wonders they bring to your life. And for all those around you, because as your energy shifts with this knowingness of who you are and this love that flows abundantly from you to the world, those around you are positively impacted. They too will shift into a more positive vein or they will get out of the way because it will be too uncomfortable for them. So those Individuals in your life who regularly upset your apple cart know that by taking care of yourself, leaning into this love, this peace, and allowing it to flow from you, those individuals will begin to feel very uncomfortable in your presence. And soon they will leave. They will no longer be an issue for you. This is the marvelous way you are cared for by your team and by your creator. So here you are walking along this path with the sun shining on you. Each step when you put your foot down, it's like the earth says, welcome. Inviting you to step forward. Every single step. How amazing is that? You are on this charmed journey. Everything works out for you. Yes, there will be challenges. But with your team, you can sail through those challenges and you will learn and grow so that you will be even more as you come through that challenge. The wind and the breeze caresses your face, gently lifts the locks of your hair, as if running fingers through your hair. Such a beautiful, pleasant feeling, making you feel oh so cared for. The trees nod and smile as you walk by, delighting in the energy that's emitting from you. For as you're breathing out, you're feeding the plants and trees. And as they're breathing out, they're feeding you in this beautiful, harmonious design created to take care of your every need. So there you are walking along this path. You see the horizon ahead. As you approach the horizon, there you see your heart's desire, whatever that may be. You can almost touch it. You're so close. And know that you will arrive there in divine, perfect timing, you are on your way. Your guides have promised to bring you together with your heart's desire. So move forward in faith, in trust, allowing all of the delights of the world to satiate you as you move along, knowing that all your needs are taken care of so beautifully. Allow yourself to float. And now I see you floating on this beautiful raft in the ocean. The water is calm. Just a few wispy clouds for accents in the sky and the gorgeous sun. There you lie. And through your mind float the daydreams, the things that delight you. You being inspired by universe with new ideas, new creations of your own that you will bring forth. And know it's important to allow yourself 
that time where you do just flow and float so that you can open yourself to receiving those divine inspirations. And then when you're finished with your relaxing journey across the water, go back to your little space and write down all of those amazing creations that were just gifted to you, all the inspiration and the insights. Know that those are building blocks that you will use as you move ever closer to your heart's desire and beyond because there will be more. There's always more. That's why you're here to embrace with exuberance all that life has to give to you. Taking those juicy berries and letting them get all over your face, just enjoying them. There you are experiencing all of the abundance that the universe dearly wants to share with you. Soak it up, enjoy it, and then move forward into even more. And you feel that glorious springy grass under your bare feet as you move forward. You hold out your arms and maybe like Julie Andrews and the sound of music, you spin and sing in glorious delight at all that you are and all that you're becoming. Feeling so loved and so cared for because that sun is like the beaming face of your creator looking down and delighting in who you are because you are so beautiful, so magnificent, and so loved. Creator delights in what you get up to. You were given this raw material and sent forth into the world to shape that in whatever way delights that you choose. You are co-creating, bringing new insights, new ideas, new joy, new peace, new harmony to yourself and to the entire world. There is not another like you in any galaxy or any universe. You are unique. You are loved. And as you flow into this sacred holiday season, however you acknowledge and celebrate, make sure that you're celebrating you because you are a gift to the world. Allow yourself to feel that deep inside. Accept that and allow that knowingness to then spring forth in abundant love for yourself and for the world. The light that shines from you will be a glorious beacon that will bring to you those who will enrich your life, who will bring more joy and more peace. So allow yourself to flow through this delightful time of the year and with excitement and anticipation as you step forward into this new year, beginning fresh with so much promise, your opportunity to decide for yourself who you will be and what you will create in this new year. Know that you can't get it wrong. This is about learning, experimenting, expanding. That's why it's an awakening journey. You're learning more and you're expanding more all of the time. And just know that as you walk forward on this beautiful journey, you are accompanied by a legion, angels, guides, enlightened beings, masters and teachers, all available for you to connect with when you need assistance. No matter how small, no matter how large, they are right there, Johnny on the spot, ready to assist you. So allow yourself to float, expand, in wonder and delight, inquiring, what do I want to create in this new year? How will I use this opportunity? You can take your time. You don't have to decide right away. Allow it to flow. Allow inspiration to come. And when that inspiration hits, treasure it 
hold it dear in your heart chakra as the seed that has been planted in you takes root and blossoms throughout the year into that new divine creation that you are bringing to the world, your gift to yourself and to the world. Know that it is perfect. Also know that you can change it at any time. Having made a choice, enjoy it to every last juicy drop. And when it feels complete, then move on to the next glorious opportunity and creation. And thus it will ever be. That is why you are here, to be this expansive being, to bring your light to the world. Because you are a light worker. And you shed that love and light. It expands from you, touches others, impacts them. And likewise, theirs does the same for you. All sharing and intermingling that beautiful love and light, creating a wave of peace and harmony that expands across the globe. Know that it will just keep getting better. And so, dear one, as we conclude our journey, bring your energy and your awareness back to your body and know that all you have just experienced is available to you. Again, whenever you need it, just reach out and ask. Take the journey. Allow it to evolve in whatever way your soul is ready for. It will be different. It will keep expanding, as will you. So with massive love, blessings, and your guides and angels throwing kisses and hugs towards you, Know that you are enveloped in their love and in their arms, safe, protected, and oh, so gloriously loved. Take a couple of deep breaths. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I don't know about you, Melinda, but I'm tingling. Oh, like, my God. Tingling. And thank you. I grabbed the crystal that was sitting here on the desk that we just charged to the full moon. And I tingled the whole time, especially when you said we were diamonds. So, <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, Deborah. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Can you tell everyone how to connect with you? Yeah, absolutely. You can find me on YouTube with my name. And you can find me at my website, akashaunleashed.com. You can find my books on Amazon. I would love for you to join me in the 21-day meditation challenge that is my newest book, The Path to Hearing Angels and Guides. It's a journey that was especially created for you by Archangel Metatron. No matter what your experience or lack of experience Taking this 21-day journey with Metatron, you will not be the same. You will have shifted into an amazing new space of expansiveness, more connection of your soul with divine. It is just a magical experience. Hard to explain, but it's, it's a peace process is how Metatron described it. And that's exactly what we need right now. We need more peace. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And I have all three of Deborah's books and I highly recommend. So I will put all of this information in the show notes. And again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel so lucky and blessed like selfishly. And then I love to share. So I get to do both. <laughs> I got to enjoy the meditation and I got to share it with the world. So it's such a great win. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for making this opportunity available to everyone. It's such a gift and you are a gift. Oh, so are you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.